All right, guys, what's up? We're back at it again today. This time with some Obsidian Flames, the Pokemon Center edition. It's been a bit since I've been on here. Been really busy. Honestly, you can tell the background's different. Been busy with that. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it. I saw like, this is my first time opening Obsidian Flames. At the store, I did see singles, so I did open those. All I got was uh, one of the Rhyme Full Art cards. But yeah, nothing too special. Let's just go ahead and open this up. I did look at the price guide for these for this set. Uh, it looks like the only one Charizard is worth like more than like $90. It's going down real fast. So this set looks like it's not that like important to people or cool to people, which I, I think is still cool. Like it has that Pidgeot. It has all those other ones. I mean, that Palafin is pretty cool. You got some other cool cards like the Clefairy, the Pidgey's like, oh, well, I know the Japanese Pidgey one, but I do want that like T-Tar and that Ice Q, SQ, however you say it. But oh, that's the rhyme I got from the single. There goes the big Chase Guard Charizard. I do like that. I think the Ice Q is way cooler than the, the Charizard EX. Terrastalized card. This is the Golds, the three Golds, and the Gita. One of the worst Elite Four members, in my opinion. Or like yeah, he elite four like the last one one of the probably the worst one actually. Kinda sucked the battle. Alright, so you get these cool cards. I like these sleeves, they're kinda cool, but it has like that doesn't have that solid finish though. They're not gonna use those ever again. And then we got the cool Charmander ones, one without the Pokemon Center logo and one with. Make sure to sleeve those up. And then we got the silver energy cards. The bookmarks. We got the dice, the damage counters, and we have the packs. But yeah, let's just get right into the packs. The first one of the ETB. Like I said, there's nothing too special to this. I don't really have like big chase cards. This one, so far, I pulled all like the big cards. If you've been watching my videos, I pulled the highest set cards of this. What's it called? Charlie and Violet one so far. Let's see if I do that again today. We have the Kangaskhan, the Young Goose, Rowlet, and a Toga Kiss. A little derpy looking, but still cool. Get the Charizard next. Well, let's see what we get. But yeah, life's been a little crazy so far at this moment. I haven't really been, really been uploading anything, but always got time to pull cards like. Now, like if I pull something big, nope, and just a scissor. A lot of scissors, I feel like. But yeah, 151 pre-orders. Uh, I got to pre-order the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it last video, but I did get to pre-order the premium collection. Everything else I have not yet pre-ordered. Probably got to go store hunting for those. That's set I'm really excited for. What is it next month? I don't really know, but. And nothing and Scoville. I have like three or four of these already. These are like super common. Yeah, let's just keep opening them up. Really excited for that one. This set is kind of cool. Not really. Maybe base set was better than this one, but I think this one's just like the overhyped Charizard way too much, maybe or something. I don't know. The Espeon, Floatzel, Wishcast, Probopass, Shoko, and oh, we got a Reverum EX. Was that for me, T-Tar? First hit out of so many packs. Looks like this box might be a dud. That's okay. There's nothing crazy in this set. I, like, I just like the Ice Cues and the T-Tar. The Charizard is kind of cool. It's okay, but I mean, like, it's not like a make or break for me. Puppy Tar, Togetic, Timbo, Ziggy, and a Clay Doll. Re not reverse. Hollow. This pack feels fatter than the rest. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, this ain't that cool, honestly. Is it? I mean, it's all right. But not that cool. Maybe Polly Evolve was cool. I don't know. I like the. They, what are they called now? What are they called now? Gal character rares? All your rares? Whatever. Of the... Like the one in the shopping cart. A Gita. 
Is it the fake cocoa in the shopping cart? And then it's like outside, and then the the floor got hole on the fence. I think it's way cooler than any of these in the, this set. Like I said, it looks like according to TCG player, excuse me, looks like the set is like not that exciting for a lot of people. Not for me either. It's kind of cool. But it's okay. King Gambit. Oh, he got the Palafin. Let's go. One of the ones I wanted. And ooh, it's thunderous. Let's go. I actually got one of the cards I wanted. Sick. But yeah, a lot more excited for 151. Uh, I don't think they're going to have the, the Master Ball Hollows or the Pokeball Hollows, whatever they're called. In the English set. I think it's the Japanese only, which is kind of kind of sad, but it's whatever. I got a Derumaka, Mask Rain, Gum Shoes, Puppy Tar, Eevee, Shore Cadet. Oh, look, in the double Palafin pool. Yeah, we got a few more packs. Nothing crazy so far. Just that Palafin. Really happy about that. Really wanted that one. I'll take a gold card too, actually. I don't think I pulled. Have I pulled the gold so far? I don't remember. We'll see if we can pull one though. Trio, Houndstone, Toad, School, Tynamo, and another Togekiss. That's two for this box. All right, second and last pack magic, the Charizard one. No Charizard cards pulled so far. Yeah, this box is pretty sad. I mean, it's whatever, right? At least I'm opening up Pokemon cards. That's the fun part, opening up cards. Tynamo, Spoink, Cup Chew. Togetic, Volcarona, Poltegeist, Dartrix, Puputar, and a Darkrai. That's like my second or third one. I don't remember. Last pack magic. Let's see if we can pull something. Let's see. Any gold card, any Charizard card, the Ice Q card. Just don't have an Ice Q. Ice Q, Ice Q, however you say it. Really want one of those. The Phantom. Ball picks, boom, sweet. Soul Rock, Doomed Litwick, Lapras, and a Scovillian. That's the second or third one already in the back. But yeah, quick recap. All right, so it looks like my luck ran out dry. Because normally I'm like pulling like all the good pulls so far in Scarlet and Violet, but it looks like right now that I pulled the a bad box. It's been a while since I pulled the bad box. This is all I got. These two, the Rev Room and the Palafin. But I'm really happy about this Palafin. Really cool. But yeah, guys, thanks for coming out to the video. Not that exciting today. But I mean, we still got the open cards, right? Which I'm always thankful for. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to open up these two little booster bundle boxes in, uh, as shorts. Usually these hit for me in uh, the Sword and Shield set. I don't know if... They're still as good in Scarlet and Violet. Looks like they aren't, but we just have to wait and see. But yeah, thanks for coming out. Much love, much respect. And as always, I don't have a plushie to say bye to. But I do have this little Riolu, but yeah, thanks for coming out. Much love. Focus on Riolu. Much love, much respect. And as always, I'll see y'all later. See you. Goodbye.